So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the close. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 164 pounds. Fighting out of Melbourne, Australia, Monster! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. We've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Beautiful kick. Look at the damage inflicted by that elbow. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He landed that punch flush. And there comes the separation now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That knee might have landed there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, 
Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. Oh, big elbow. Back and forth we go! One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Big head kick lands. And he lands the knee to the body now. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anyway. Look at him drive his shit into the front of the body with that body kick. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick. And you can see, now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Way to sneak that elbow around the side of the guard. Nice body. Splits the guard, lands the right. That knee, that knee hurt him. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Nice kick. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Lee. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. There's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, while well, the opponents seem to think, oh, he might have got it with a choke. take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with those legs. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Knee to the body. Oh, big left hook there. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on that. That is how you scramble, folks. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? And both guys really throwing with authority. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. That knee might have landed there. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice. Unable to connect with the right hand there. <laughs> Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Beautiful strike. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. He loaded up in that right hand, too. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Missed with that right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Good clinch work here, knee to the body by Lee. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Just misses there with the left. He's hurt! He's hurt! Big kick land. Right hand on point. What a tricky head kick. Big push position. Watch him start to hang. Try to gas his opponent out by hanging on his head. Nice strike. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Big knee land. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, that's a good right hand. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to... Wow! Holy smokes, he put him to sleep! <laughs> oh, spinning back fist! He didn't telegraph that one at all. That shot is blocked by Lee. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the goal. Nice job to prevent the takedown. Scramble to his feet. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, round three coming up next. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back and work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight.
Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, big punch land. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Nice kick there by Lee. Body attack, and it's blocked. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch. Beautiful level change leads to the takedown. Oh, nice. Oh, how about this? As he jumps to side mount to try to counter the guillotine with a Von Flew choke. Open St. Prue would be proud. Submission defense there. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating. You need to be framing. You need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. How good is that right hand? All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop us. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. All right, single collar tie now. Ooh, big knee. Big knee. Right hand landed. Powerful leg kick land. That knee might have landed there. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Another knee by Lee. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but this a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. He's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. That knee might have landed there. Another knee by Lee. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together. And it all comes together. Nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Big punch lands through the middle. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a kimura here. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round.
All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately... Oh! Oh! He's out! Holy smokes! What a fight! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 11 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.